<laughs> Melanie Camp. Let's go. Welcome. Let's go. Woo. Welcome Hi, to Houston you. Live. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Melanie. Honestly, if Michael Bublé pulled me out like that to sing, I would not sing like that. I would die. Michael Bublé, please, when you come to Buffalo, do not try and sing with me. <laughs> it, would, it would be the end, kaput. Hi, welcome to the show. Melanie, you know, I had no idea that the people from Buffalo sounded like they're from Australia. Get out of my face. That is the best Australian accent anyone has ever <laughs> faked. No. We're at Big Chicken having big fun. The Charles Barkley, which is my sloppiest sandwich. If you ever come in here and get the Charles Barkley, that's the sloppiest sandwich ever. You know what? He is no stranger to Houston life, and we are very glad to have him back in our studio today to chat about moving on to the next round of the competition and all the attention he's been getting from his TV experience. Let's welcome back Eduardo Antonio Trevino. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, you just you just belt out those notes. Thank you. Stephen Reinecke, he is the principal pops conductor here with Houston Symphony, and I think, I'm pretty sure, he's in here. Oh, ah. Hello. Oh, it's <laughs> Melanie Camp. How are you, Stephen Melanie? Come on. Stephen Reinecke, thank you. How are you doing? Oh my goodness, so good. Welcome to town. We have been hanging out, me and Trey the Truth, and just, you know, checking out the space. Trey Day is happening this weekend. So many things are going on, but this is where the family fun day is going to be on Saturday. Definitely, definitely the official biggest family fun day in the city. We have, by the way, I just want to say, we've got two thirds of two hands. Two thirds of hands. We are waiting on Taylor. But I think he's going to come. These are the best two thirds. Exactly. Right? <laughs> you know. We're going to actually get a sneak peek of a song in just a moment. So this is going to be really cool. But I want to know when you are doing this kind of rehearsal, do a lot of changes or any changes happen once you listen to everything with everyone together? Yes. In a new musical, changes are happening constantly. The actors are nodding knowingly as I'm saying <laughs> this. And they have been. Look who we have here, Bun B. We're at Trill Burgers. We're at Rodeo. No better way to start the first day of Rodeo. Hey, Bun. I'm, I'm so excited. I don't think it gets more Houston than this. It really, really doesn't. And I feel like you are unofficial. Can I say? I probably Go can't say. It. Go for Can it. I say unofficial king of Rodeo? I'll, I'll take that. That's high praise, man. <laughs> oh, what would I know? What would I know? I mean, you're just fun, B. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Guys, I'm putting in my order. This is really Good. exciting. But the only place you can get these burgers and the brisket fries, the Trill and brisket Only fries, here. here, Trill Burgers at Rodeo. So if you guys want something, we'll bring some back uh, for Melody. Oh, boy. Thank you, Bun. Thank you, Bun. We are Thank so you. hungry. So hungry. I mean, yeah. you were undocumented for seven years. Mm -hmm. You moved here when you were young, young but old enough to know that you were in a new strange place. Right, right. You know, and then on top of that, and it's something that you cover in The Intruder, is yeah. um, the mental health you know, challenges that your family had faced right, with right. your mom. Yeah. With Splash Mountain, with Splash as you Mountain. call it. Yes, which is, I always, I joke that mental illnesses should be called, uh, named after rides at Disneyland. That way you can normalize it. It doesn't sound as scary if you say, oh, I have uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, you know, instead of, <laughs> instead of something like bipolar or something, you know. And um, yeah, because I have a, I have a lot of, you know, experience with it, with my mother growing up, you know, having mental health issues and, yeah, but all of that sort of goes into my comedy too, you know, it's about wanting people to feel seen while laughing at the same time, about these difficult to talk about things. I love it so much because a lot of comedy does that and I think mental health is almost the last, you know, thing that needs to be destigmatized. And even in The Intruders, when you mention it, when you mention that your mum has schizophrenia, there's a little moment where the crowd is sort of like, ooh, and then they're like, oh, okay, it's okay for us to laugh and it's okay for us to open up. Right, right. Yeah. Which, yeah. Is, which is so powerful and I'm really grateful that you're able to do that for the world. Oh, thank you, yeah. My job. Ooh, that was phenomenal, guys, to be in the room with this. Definitely want to come and check out Cowboy Bob at Alley Theatre. I think I'm tearing up. Guys, that was amazing. Oh, my goodness, Derek, Stephanie, I'm sending it back to you guys. What a rush. It was great, Mel Campbell.